Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and yes, I still have a black eye. I try to cover it up, but that's besides the point. Anyway, you guys have heard the story by now. So, moving on from that, today I have an awesome video for you, something I'm super excited about. If you know me personally, you know how much I love fall. I freaking love fall. Love it, love the leaves changing, I love the cooler crisp temperatures, come on. It's been 100 degrees. It's probably still 100 degrees when you're watching this. And if it's not, hella freaking luya. All right, so what I've got for you today are 10 whiskeys I think that you need to be drinking this fall. I picked a variety that will fit every palate, every person, and the good news here is everybody should be able to find them. You might have to have a little effort, little to no effort on some of them, but you should be able to find these wherever you live. So let's dive into it. I'm super freaking excited. Cheers to you. Thanks so much for being here. I don't have anything to clank on today. I'll clank on the table. Cheers to you. Thanks so much for your support. Love you. I appreciate you. Oh. Mm. Without further ado, further ado, of do. <laughs> Without further ado, it is time to introduce you to the very first bottle on the list, and that is one I love. Well, I love all of these. I'm not gonna be like, I love this one, and I love this one, and I love this one. I might though, I might. But here we go. The first bottle on the list is ba -ba -ba, Four Roses Small Batch Select. This one's around $60. And if you guys know Four Roses, you know they have 10 different recipes and this one has six of those 10 different recipes in it. It comes in at 104 proof. Yeah, 104 proof. I think it's really enjoyable. It's got a good amount of spice to it. It's got a good amount of fruitiness to it. But what I really like about this is that first one, and that's the spice. It makes me think of fall, not pumpkin spice. It just makes me think of like raspberries and cream with some spice on the end, and it's just, such an enjoyable pour that you gotta have this one this fall. Go find it. Okay, so we got the first one out of the way, which by the way, that's the one I'm drinking right now. Okay, now it is time to move on to the second bottle. And the second bottle I have for you is Woodford Double Oaked. Now I know I've heard in the past, some people like this bottle, some people don't like this bottle, but I really enjoy this bottle. It's a lower proof. It comes in at 90.4 proof. It has a good sweetness to it, a richness, really enjoyable. It's like a caramel, marshmallow, butterscotchy oakiness that just makes me think of fall. Like if I drink Woodford Double Oaked, I'm gonna automatically go like, oh, this is fall in a glass, like without the spiciness. Like this is more the sweeter side, more of your s'mores, your marshmallow, your chocolates, your, it's just, it's just good. And your oakiness, it just makes me think I'm smelling the, the wood before it goes into the fire. And then I'm smelling the marshmallow inside the burned marshmallow, because I like the burned marshmallow. This doesn't really have that char taste to it. It just has the woody, oaky, and the sweet of the mallow, the mallow, the sweet mallow. So this is a good one. You can find it. It's delicious. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty much everywhere. It is. I don't know if I've ever been at a place that I haven't seen this. So that's bottle number two. All right, now moving on to bottle number three. And to me, this is kind of like the quintessential fall whiskey, mainly because of the name. The name of this one is Campfire. Camp, Campfire? That sounded like I was gonna be more dramatic about it. This is High West Campfire. This is a great bottle, but if you don't like peat, you don't like that smokiness, this might not be for you because this definitely has a nice smokiness to it. It's delicious, it's got a good variety of flavor, and it, it's just so good, it's so good. It comes in at about 94 proof, wait, 62, 92 proof? Oh my God, math is hard. <laughs> comes in at 92 proof, so it's a lower proof. You can sip on it all night while you're sitting by the fire, and it really does give you those great campfire vibes, a lot of richness, it's super enjoyable and I love this one and I love, oh man, I can't wait for Midwinter's Night Dram. But for now, we're gonna enjoy fall and that is one, this one is gonna be available in every market according to High West. So go find this one, it's good, it's delicious and I like it and especially if you like peated stuff, if you like that smokiness, you're gonna find that in this bottle. 
All right, now we're, ta we're, we're trying. We're trying to get a little more spicy. We're gonna really spice up your fall with the next pour. And the next pour I've got for you is one that I freaking can't stop drinking. I can't, I can't stop drinking it. I keep reaching for it and I keep going back to it and I love it and it's so freaking delicious. And that is Knob Creek Single Barrel Selects. These are freaking good. Oh, 120 proof. They have a great amount of spiciness, so much good flavor. I mean, obviously they're single barrels. You can find them in most stores. Many stores have picks, so support local. Go find those good local picks. But these are absolutely delicious. I have not found one that I don't like. Like, you have a good amount of spice, caramel, richness, sometimes a little bit of nut, but not always, not always. It's not always your typical gym beam, right? Sometimes these are just really rich with a good cinnamon finish, good brown sugar, good flavor, vanillas, and I love them. And they're so freaking good. They're just so good. I love them. Can't get enough of them. And we literally have bought and like bought and we've bought like, I don't know, five bottles in the last month of these different varieties, different store picks. So go check them out. Find one of these Knob Creek single barrel store picks or, I mean, whatever. I don't know if they're all store picks, but go find a Knob Creek Single Barrel Select at 120 proof. It'll keep you warm and toasty. And it's also gonna just provide you with so much flavor. It is so freaking good. Okay, so the next one, we talked about the High West Campfire being a great campfire whiskey. But the next one, if you don't like peat, this one's for you. This is absolutely freaking delicious. It makes me think of a campfire. And that is Sagamore Double Oaked. OMG, this is a rye. This is a double oaked rye. It comes in at 96 proof and it is so freaking delicious. It's oaky, it's sweet, it's got oh, it's just so many rich flavors, but literally to me, it tastes like vanillas and wood and fire, not fire, like not smoky, but it just makes me think of something that I'm gonna cozy up to a fire pit with a blanket and just sip on this one. I love it. It has like just really, really good like butterscotch notes to it, caramelized sugar, just that oakiness, that oakiness of like an oaky attic. It's just so freaking good from the front part of the palette to the finish. It's so good, so enjoyable. Love this one. And it is just a great campfire pour. So if you don't like the peat, but you like a rye, and it's not your typical like super like experimenting minty rye. No, this one is going to be like one of those more rich flavored with a little bit of spice on the back end, more of like your nutmeg, your cardamom, your ginger, things like that. So it's really enjoyable. I love this one. Go find this one. You need it this fall. All right, so we talked about Woodford Double Oak. It's a good low proof, a 90.4 proof. It's a great finished whiskey. It's delicious. I love it. It's so good. Now, let's talk about another finished bourbon that is good, that is also barrel strength. So if you wanted that sweeter, more relaxed, less proof that you can sip on all night long, you can go with the Woodford Double Oaked, or you can grab a Penelope Toasted. Penelope Toasted straight bourbon whiskey comes in at 100, well, this one that we have right here, comes in at 100, nearly 111 proof. Yeah, right at 111 proof. Super good, has a good amount of char, tastes like a marshmallow. It's sweet, but it also has a good kick on the proof. I love this one, this one's so good. So good, I love it. But there are a lot of varieties, like you can get it like higher char, lower char. I like the higher chars, like, or the toes, yeah the higher char, so like the char fives are my favorites. This one's a char too, but I love the higher char, so you can go with that more like, like woodsy, like fiery, not like peated, but that more fiery flavor that just makes you think of fall. Like it literally tastes like a charred marshmallow on some chocolate, on some graham crackers. So this is a great choice to pick up this fall. Toasted automatically makes me think of fall, but Honestly, this really does taste like a toasted s'more. So it's really good, really enjoyable, and it has more proof than the Woodford Double Oak. Unless you like the lower proof, go with the go with the Woodford Double Oak. If you like the higher proof, the more barrel strength, go with the Penelope Toasted. Really great experiences either way. 
Okay, so now if you really want to warm up your soul for the fall, like you're really wanting to go with something that's higher proof, that's really going to make you stay warm while you're sitting next to the fire or while you're sitting inside on the really crisp fall nights, you're going to want to go with an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Now this might be the only one in the list that you might have to search out for, but a lot of places have store picks of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, or you can go with the different batches, the B522, A122, C921. You can go with any of those. They're all gonna be good. They're all enjoyable. They're, it's just such a consistent product. And that's why I love Elijah Craig Barrel Proof so much. Are some better than others? Heck yeah. Like some you're gonna find, they're gonna be so good. You're gonna be like, holy shiz, this is life changing. Others are gonna find and be like, oh, well I like this batch better or I like this store pick better. But either way, it's gonna be something enjoyable with a higher proof. This one I have right here is a store pick. This one comes in at eight years, but I know they do go up, to, like they're usually between eight and 12 years. This one comes in at 126 proof. I know we have some that are like, I wanna say 134 proof. So. There's a good amount of proof in these and they will definitely warm you up. They have good fruit, or not fruit. They definitely don't have fruit. Well, I haven't noticed any fruit, but what I do notice out of these is some oakiness. I generally get a little nuttiness, not like a Jim Beam nutty nuttiness, but a lighter nuttiness, some caramels, some vanilla, just good amount of oak like i said so this is a really good one that will keep you really warm in the fall and it just makes me think of like warm football fall weather love it love it well football fall weather is not warm it's cooler but it just makes me think of warming up for football in the fall <laughs> okay so now it's time to move on to probably the easiest, most affordable bottle, affordable bottle on the shelf that you can find that I think you really need to be drinking this fall, and that is Wild Turkey 101 Rye. Rye, right? Whether you wanna sip this one straight, whether you wanna sip this one in a cocktail, this is such a great option. This one tastes so good in a Sazerac. It tastes so good in an old fashioned, and it tastes great in a hot toddy. So it's great mixing and it's also great neat. It tastes like caramel and honey and has a little bit of spice on the back end. It's just really enjoyable overall and I love it and it's delicious. And I think it's just a great fall pour. Like honey and spice makes me think of fall. Like drinking a hot toddy when you get a cold in the fall. That's what it makes me think of. So this is a great one to pick up and you're gonna pick it up for probably under $25. So. Definitely pick up the Wild Turkey 101 Rye. Easy to find. The bourbon's great too, but I love the rye. The rye makes me think of more like fall and the spice. So that's why I like this one. You don't have to say much about this one. It's freaking wild turkey and I love it. I love it. Okay, so my last two bottles are for all my scotch fans out there because I freaking love scotch and I don't give scotch enough love on this channel, but I need to give it more love. And in this video, I'm doing that. I'm giving it more love. Okay, so the last two bottles. The first one I have for you is Buna Habin 12. You can find this bottle everywhere. And this one is absolutely delicious. This really does make me think of fall. This has that sherry in it that makes me, like not makes me, it has that dried fruit note, that toasted almonds, vanilla. It's so, oh, it's so rich, some honey, a little bit of spice, but overall just very sweet. And it's so good with a cigar. When you're sitting by the fire, you wanna light up a cigar. This one goes perfectly with a cigar and I love it. And it comes in at a little bit of lower proof. Like this one I'm gonna say is like 90 proof. I gotta double check that though. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, it's about 92.6 proof. So it's about 92.6 proof. So it's a lower proof, it's super crushable, but also super enjoyable. Mm, that's what I'm drinking right now. Mm. really love this one crush it oh gosh dang every time i drink this i forget how good it is but it is really good really enjoyable and you can find it everywhere so that's the first scotch i have for you now the last bottle and the final scotch that i have for you is an ardbeg 10. omg i love ardbeg 10. this one is just this is just campfire in a bottle from the peat to the finish, to the flavor. Oh, gotta pop this one, cause, oh, that 
is just pure smoke. Like delicious, sweet smoke though. You get the honey, you get the vanilla. Oh, just, it's great. It is a great amount of smoke. You can find it everywhere and comes in at a lower proof. This one, again, scotch always comes in a little bit lower unless you're getting into those cast strength scotches, but this one comes in at 92 proof also. You can find it, I love it, and it's just a great amount of peat. If you like he like a good, thick, heavy peat, drink this one. You're gonna drink it by the fire, you're gonna kinda, it's just gonna match up with the, with the experience that you're having by the fire. And maybe you don't wanna start a fire. Maybe you just wanna sit outside and feel like you're having a fire. Drink the Ardbeg tin, so good. Ah, I love it, I love it so much. Okay, so that, right there, that was the 10th bottle on the list. 10 great bottles that I think you guys need to be drinking this fall. Let me know if I missed something. Did I miss something that you really love that you think is a great fall whiskey? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you like my list, give this a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, you know what to do. As always, I really, really appreciate you guys. I'm so grateful for your support. Cheers to you. I hope you have a great fall. Enjoy the pumpkins, the spice, whatever you like. Enjoy the campfires and enjoy the company of others while you're sipping your whiskey. As always, I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and I'll see you next time.